Okay, I'm joined right now by Spain Park senior cheerleader, Natalie. I'm not even going to try to say your last name. Could you say it for folks, please? Chalewski. Chalewski, will you spell that real quick one time? C-H-E-L-E-W-S-K-I. So Natalie had a very interesting summer. Not only did she do her normal Spain Park cheer duties to prepare for this season, but she also did something special. Tell people what you did over the summer. So I went to a lot of college clinics such as Troy, Mississippi State, and I also just went to this combine where there was just a bunch of colleges there and they were just there scouting people out, seeing who they wanted to have on their teams and seeing where we would like to see ourselves in the future. Now when you go to these clinics, is it something you're just trying to show them what you can do or are they also trying to teach you things that they're expecting you to be able to do if you want to cheer at the next level? We go and show off what we know, but we also, you know, we don't get to do a lot of hard stunts here that are legal in college, so we learn how to do those there, and they give you tips there as well. Right, hold on. So, and also, in addition to that, so did any of the clinics, I understand you guys had a big stunt clinic here today, correct? Oh, yes. So, West Georgia, they have this thing called Proven, and they come to different schools, and they kind of help with your stunning technique, and they teach you new skills and stuff like that. So, when you go to these clinics over the summer, when you come back, are there things that you can share with your teammates of things that you've learned and, and make them better cheerleaders? Absolutely. So today we were learning an, a skill that I had never done until I went to the combine. And so I got to kind of know like the beginner like things about the skill that I got to teach and show my um, uh, teammates. So when you uh, obviously get doing those clinics, cheering at the next level is something that you're hoping to do, correct? Yes, sir. Do you have any particular colleges in mind that you're really looking at? I'm kind of just feeling my way out right now. I may have a couple, but I just don't know yet, so I'm just going to keep figuring out, you know, what I want to do. So Spain Park makes the jump to 6A this year, which can be, we've talked about many times, almost more competitive than 7A in certain situations. But you get to travel to some new schools and see some new teams. Is that something the girls are excited about, going to some different places to cheer? Of course, and I really like away games, so I'm really excited for that as well because I think we have more away than home games this really year. Good. And last big question for you, what's your favorite ride at Disney when you guys get to go down for the national competition? Um, Tower of Terror. Oh, I love Tower of Terror. So, well, we're going to actually, we actually, we said we we're going to try to do it last year. This year, we are going to make it happen where we come down and follow you guys around at Disney. So, we're going to have some fun with it. Uh, last question. What's, what are you looking forward to most your senior year, school, cheering, all the above? Well, I just want to make sure I'm the best version of myself, you know, putting myself out there for colleges. And I'm excited to see where this team takes us this year because we just have a lot of new people and I just am excited for the growth. Well, Natalie. Last name? Chalewski. Chalewski. I've just messed with it. Natalie Chalewski, thank you for joining us today. You're always fun to watch on the sidelines. We look forward to covering you this year. Go Jags. Go Jags. All right, I'm joined now by sophomore cheerleader Kate Bradley. Hey, I'm Kate Bradley. And if you recognize the last name, that's probably because you've been preceded by two older brothers. Older brother Jackson now down at Auburn, but everybody obviously knows who Brock Bradley is, right? Yes, sir. Do you I feel mean... like you get lost in the shuffle sometimes as the forgotten Bradley? Oh, for sure. Brock's. Brock's definitely the, but people don't see behind the behind the scenes the best athlete right here. I was gonna say, you can see you jumping ahead, you're already taking my job away from me because that's one of the things I'm gonna ask you. Every time I interview, every time I interview one of your brothers or whatever, every somebody comes up and goes, but uh, Kate's the best athlete in the family. Kate's the best, is that true? Well, we're all really good athletes, but I think everybody knows who the best is. So yeah, I know y'all, but you also played for a while. You played volleyball too, right? I did, yes sir. So you're all around athlete, but you gave a, now you're doing cheer. Yes sir, I've always done gymnastics. So I'm just like always been in the tumbling type. So I went, I wanted to um, just do cheer because volleyball, I mean, I'm tall, so it's good for volleyball, but I just like, kind of like cheer more and like the family that you build with the girls they're kind of all like my sisters and I have two older brothers so it's just like great to have like a family of sisters. So. Touch on that real quick because that's one thing I was going to mention you are a sophomore yes, we've sir. interviewed and been around this program for a while and I know a lot of the seniors I can't tell who's who I can't tell who's a freshman I can't tell who's a <laughs> yes, senior sir. because the way you guys do get along you guys are a very close-knit group and mm -hmm. that's not something that you can fake I mean it's natural yeah. so talk a little bit about the family atmosphere. Well we all love each other so much and like we just get along like it doesn't matter your grade like some fresh we have three freshmen on the team right now varsity and they just get along with us like we're all just come together like we're in the same grade and it's just a good we all bond so and it's great for cheer because it's a team sport and if we want to win nationals we have to work together as a team. So I gave your mom a little bit of a hard time. We interviewed your mom about the new Medical West facility opening <laughs> yes, up, sir. and I said she probably needs to get some stress release over there with her. But it's, do you get nervous when your brother's playing? 
I do. You'll see me in the <laughs> on the sidelines. I'm like this. I'm like just like hoping for the best. I just don't want him to get hurt. The you know you always think the worst, but I know he'll be fine. <laughs> and I also know too, your brother. I've been reviewed him many times. He's very humble too. Does he thank you on Friday nights when you guys get done? Does he recognize the job? Because the yes, cheer sir, yes, cheerleaders sir. are a big part of the atmosphere. They you guys are. have done a phenomenal job, and you guys are a big part of the reason why we've seen attendance increase over the last couple of years. I'm not sure if you guys recognize that, but through our coverage, we said. So, do, do the players recognize what you guys do yes, for them on Friday nights? I think they do. Sometimes Coach V will walk in our in our gym when we're practicing and see our stunts and just be like, "I think we're really we're really appreciated." But we appreciate them too. We kind of do it without each other, so. Yeah, I think we all just appreciate each other. So two more for you, and I'll let you go, because yeah. I know you guys got to get ready, because we're getting ready for a yes, big sir. pep rally tonight to kick off the season. But what's your favorite ride at Disney? Because the season starts with football, but it ends with the big cheer competition <laughs> down at Disney. So what's your favorite yes, ride at Disney World? I actually don't like roller coasters. So I, <laughs> Coach Lambert makes me get on some that I do not want to get on, but I couldn't even tell you, because I don't even look. I just close my eyes the whole time. You're a small world kind of girl? <laughs> yes, sir. Okay, okay. And then uh, last question. What do you, you know, your sophomore – what are you looking forward to the most this year? Second year here in Spain Park, a little bit more settling. What are you looking for, whether it's cheerleading or school-wise? Probably just cheerleading. Like, I really want a good, good win in nationals. I'm just – our seniors this year are so – they're so, like – they're really leaders on the team. And we all just look up to them. They're all role models. Our captain, Allie, she's just a good role model for all of us. She's a back spot, too, which I've always looked up to her, even last year. I just always wanted to be like them. So. So are you on the top of the pyramid or the bottom? I'm on the bottom. On the bottom. <laughs> yes, sir. And just so you know, you're not the forgotten Bradley as far as Speed Thank Network is you. concerned. We always ask about you. So and you are, and I do. Your brothers give me a hard time because I always tell them I hear you're the best athlete in the house, and I think yes, that's sir. true. So good luck and go Jags. Thank you. Go Jags. I'm joined now by Spain Park senior cheerleading captain Ali Shively, huh? Hey, how are y'all? So does it does it feel good to hear captain associated with your name? Yes, but it is a big responsibility. I'm, I want to nervous. talk to you about that because I've watched it here for a couple of years now. Yes. We've covered you and stuff. And you've always kind of had a leadership role on this team. Do yes. you, as the captain, do you feel an additional sense of obligation to kind of bring the newer girls along and really kind of take them under your wing? Uh, yes, I do. And especially as a senior, it's definitely like a lot of responsibility to, to kind of take them under our wing and get them into the flow of things, especially because they don't know anything because this is their first year. Now, not only that, but you also have a good group of seniors yes. around you. And one of the things I notice that you do from watching, you probably don't realize how much we kind of, when we cover you, we get to pick up a lot of things. Not only do you lead, but you get some of your other senior stuff yes. you lead. And you almost do, it's a, you're the captain, but you almost got a it's group a of team. captains. Yes, so we're all a team. And so we all kind of communicate about everything and work together to like lead our team and to be the most successful that we can be. So I asked uh, uh, Natalie earlier, you know, you, you, you make the jump to 6A, you yes. get to see a lot of new teams. Are you guys excited about traveling to some new yes. schools and seeing we're some new definitely schools? excited, and at State we're competing against a lot of different teams, and it's definitely going to be fun getting to compete against them. Yeah, I think a lot of people don't realize that. So State, because you know, there's a couple different types of competitions, yes. but you have State, but then ACA, the, the one you do in Disney, that's Yes, it's schools, completely right? different. Yeah. It's completely different divisions, schools. It really doesn't matter, whatever I've asked everyone, what is your what is your favorite ride at Disney when you guys get to go down there? Um, I don't know. I like um, Everest, yeah, Everest, awesome. but we always have to wait for two hours in line to go on that one. Yeah, but Morgan, Morgan always tells us she loves dinosaurs. Yes, and we used to ride Rock and Roller Coaster, but the last time we went it was closed down, so we couldn't ride it. So as you head into your senior year now, what's one thing you're looking most forward to, whether it be at school, cheerleading, all the above? Um, I'm really excited for all the fun senior year things that we get to do, like the first day of school and then senior sunrise, sunset. I'm excited for all that stuff. So do you realize, I asked a couple of other girls, and this probably getting you to pat yourself on the back a little <laughs> bit yourself, but, you know, again, with us covering you now, this is our third season with Spain Park covering Spain Park Athletics. You know, we've seen the fan participation grow a lot. It's a big yes. part of it because you guys bring a lot of enthusiasm. I mean, yes. you brought a lot of enthusiasm in some of those two and eight years, oh, too. Yeah. So is that something you guys recognize and take a little pride in of what what impact you've had in growing this fan base? Yes, we try and work as hard as we can, and we see where we've gotten better, and we see where we haven't, and that's where we work. Okay. So. Well, we're going to let you go because I know you guys got to oh, get yes. ready and we're going to film your routine, but you did great today, and we want to wish you the best of luck uh, this senior year, and we'll yes. be around covering you. And go Jags. Go Jags. Yes! <laughs>